Hello Light Sharkers, in this video we want to look at some advanced and basic pan tilt effects and show you how to get the most out of them in the Light Shark. We're going to make use of both the basic and advanced effect editor. In this video I'm going to be working with two sets of lights. In my visualizer I have the lights along the back truss horizontally and then I have the lights among the sides going vertically. These are two different types of lights. We'll work with them together and alone in order to create some great effects. First things first, I'm actually going to leave that intensity on. Select just those backlights and run through some basic examples. Now these are covered in our other effects videos, but I want to go over it quickly here so we're all on the same page. For position, we can do a variety of pan only, tilt only, or different shapes. I'm actually going to go ahead and find these fixtures, put them in that shape, turn off my intensity so it's a little more clear. Perfect. Now we see by default when we bring up any of these effects, the size is set to 100, the speed is set to 30 BPM, the phase is set to 180 degrees, and the width is set to 100. The first thing that I go for when I'm building any effect in the Light Shark is the phase. The default phase of 180 can be handy and it makes every other fixture run the effect as you can see here. If we move that towards three quarter, now we get every fourth fixture at 270 degrees. If we go all the way to 360, once they sync up you get all of the lights together and same for zero. Again, takes a second to sync up but then you're good. So the sweet zone for a lot of effects is somewhere in the middle of 0 and 180 or somewhere between 180 and 360. But of course, if you want to do in every other effect, 180 is there for you. Perfect. That's the first place I go. Next, we have the shape. So these shapes allow you to run the effect across the lights in different ways. We've covered them extensively elsewhere and they're very powerful. So when we have a 180 phase on the outside to in shape and on this auto group, that is a, um, that is a shape that is just the selection order, lowest to highest fixture number, which is left to right in our visualizer. When you do that, you will see you get every other light and they are mirrored. Okay. So the center two do the same thing, whereas opposed to the left or right, the center two do not do the same thing. Let's look at some more advanced effects. Uh, we can adjust the phase how we want. I like to slow down the speed because right now I can see these fixtures are actually limited in the amount they're moving because the speed is too fast. Now that's a full effect. I'll dial that size down, which is just how big the effect works off of the base point where the lights started. And you can see we've got a really nice wave type effect here. We can record this in any queue into our console. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and look at some more advanced effects. As I mentioned, if we have multiple groups of lights together, we're able to actually build a group with all or multiple groups that has a 2D uh, layout in it. This one is just a straight line. Okay. This one is just my, my alphas left and right. And then this one is my overhead lights. Now we've got some different options here as to how they work. As mentioned in other videos, we can press edit and go into our group and we can set multiple steps for our lights. Now steps allow you to kind of override the 2D layout and assign different steps to your individual lights. You can see here, I've highlighted multiple lights. I can click and drag and get this grouping, which is a little odd, but it'll work. Let's actually go and grab that top unit at step four. Perfect. Exit and save. And now let's talk about some more advanced effects. Advanced effects can be really helpful because they allow you to use the palettes that you already built, such as here, to be able to work with your lights in new and different ways. We can also combine multiple parameters together and control them at the same time in the advanced 
effects window. This is probably the most powerful portion. Sure, in the basic, you can do multiple parameters together, but they don't edit together. So we'll go to advanced and open our editor and add a new layer. We'll press plus, and now we have different palettes. So for intensity, I only have one palette right now, and so this is not very exciting. I'm going to go ahead and build another palette. That's at zero. So now I'll grab them at full, record a second palette. Perfect. Now we go back to our advanced effects, having our lights selected. We'll go ahead and build that effect. So this video is all about position. So we'll talk about that. So we have a psych position here and then we have a sky position. This will be the most clear. Then we'll add a layer to add a second parameter. And I'm going to add palette five, which is off and palette six, which is on. All right. So it's just a little bit hard to see, but here we have the pan tilt on the first line and the intensity on the second line. It's shown here at the edge. Okay. And what's going on is right now the pan tilt and the intensity are in sync. Now, they fade to zero very momentarily, so I'm going to change the curve to make it more obvious. Okay, so now we see we've built an effect here that when the light is going up to the sky, it's on. When it's going down to the psych, it's off. We can even move that a little bit and tune it just a little bit more. So if we tune the snap point to the start, you see we get a different way of running this effect. This will work with any type of effect. The, the biggest thing is if you want stuff that is in sync, if you want to build effects that are synced together, line them up here in the interface. And if you have added layers or made changes, just hit sync to resync the engine. Okay, if you don't hit sync when using multiple layers, you may have some issues when you go to play it back. Now let's go ahead and add a third position. Let me select my lights. I deselected them at one point accidentally. Add that backlight position at the end and adjust the way the effects run. And so now we get something that's a little bit stuttery, but you can see here how it gives you some different options to get some really interesting effects out of your lighting. Just like the basic effects, when we press on the layer, we have the ability to adjust things like the size and offset of the entire layer. Okay. When we select the lights, we're able to change the direction, among other things, for the whole effect. Just like those basic effects, phase defaults to 180 degrees, and that's usually what I move first, but you can do whatever you'd like. When you use these tips, you're going to be able to build even better effects with any parameter, but especially pan and tilt when using it in combination with other effects. Refer to our videos on the advanced effects for more instruction and to get better with the effects engine in the light shark. Thank you so much and have a great day.